Hi, it is Monday, April 14th. That makes it 4 14 14. Whoa, mind blown. <laughs> and I am doing laundry. Um, it's the afternoon, the middle of the day, and the students are in class, so it's the best time to do laundry. So I don't have to compete with everyone. This building has 300 students, and we have six washers and six dryers. So I'm going to do some laundry because I have a lot. Oh, I have a lot of laundry to do. Wish me luck. <laughs> This is Julia's real life, and she just got something <laughs> nice. Are you on duty tonight? Is that why you're just chilling here? Yeah. Soaking it in? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is what happens in Greeley. No. <laughs> you were so serene until you spilled on yourself. How about you, Alex? Hello. Hey, I'm also on duty. Alex, is, kind of Alex is on lounge duty, always, <laughs> always. So my laundry's done, and I'm taking it upstairs to fold it. I'm done with work for the day, but I have to do my taxes still. I know, I know it's the day before they're due, please, like, you're not the first one to tell me that. Yes, I'm a procrastinator, I'll get it done. So I'm gonna go fold my clothes so that they don't become wrinkled. And then I'm going to go back down to my office and do my taxes. So it shouldn't take me too long, I hope. All right, so my taxes are done. Didn't take as long as I thought it would. I did have to make quite a few co phone calls to mom and dad for their advice because um, I've never done it all by myself before. But I'm an adult, so uh, welcome to the real world adult life, I guess. Uh, but I'm, I'm proud of myself that I could, I could do that, and, uh, now I'll get some money back, so that's nice. I need to buy a new camera, because the volume on this camera doesn't work very well, um, and then I'll use it for some, some summer fun. So, now I think I'm going up to my apartment and, and chill out for the evening. So, let's go. Did you see the pizza that I bought yesterday at Aldi's? Reggio's from Chicago. This is it. It's tiny, but it's beautiful and delicious. Mmm. It's a little piece of home. A little slice of heaven. A little bit of home right here in my kitchen in New York. Which is awesome. So, I finished my taxes as you saw earlier. I'm eating my pizza. And, holy crap, how is it 10.51 p.m.? How is that possible? Where does the time go that I'm eating dinner and it's almost 11 o'clock at night. Ooh, oh well, what are you gonna do? So, uh, just hanging out in my apartment watching YouTube videos and living life. So I posted a picture on my Facebook of a butterfly wing that I had painted on my nail, on my ring finger of each hand, if you can see it. Um, and yes, I painted this after I found I was inspired by a photo on Pinterest. So everyone kept saying, how did you do that? Is it really as easy as you say it is? It is. You just need the right colors and the right tools. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, I set up a little camera rig, so I, I hope it works. I hope you can see it. We're going to try it out. To get this design, you need yellow and orange and then black and white. My mom got me this set. Miji nail art kit and it has the same thing as it's got the nail pens in them so I actually used the white to make the white dots or I and I could use the black for the black lines as well so let me see if I could sh oh you also need a wedge um, that's how I s I put on the yellow and the orange so and, and the yellow paint so see I got some yellow on the end I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna do the bottom of the nail with the yellow. I hope you can see this because I have the camera sitting between a cup and uh, a glass of ice. So I need to put some more paint on my sponge, fill it up. And it's okay if it gets onto your skin. You can always use a Q-tip with some nail polish remover afterwards. So you just wanna get the bottom third of your nail. You're gonna do orange in the middle and then you're gonna leave the top, the poorly color. Yellow, I'm gonna take the other side and put it in the orange. And then I'm gonna put it right on top where the yellow was. So it's the second layer. Put the yellow down my skin. So I just have a Q-tip dipped in some nail polish remover and I'm gonna fix the edges a little bit. Wipe them clean. Ooh, ear dust is the right word. Coat on it. That looks pretty good to me. Can you see that? See? Kind of looks like a sun. <laughs> and then 
I'm going to make lines going up this direction. So this one has three lines, so that's what I'm going to do. The same to my thumb. I'm going to do three lines going up. It's really difficult because I am trying to have these devices hold the camera and trying to draw on my hand at the same time, so bear with me. One, two, I gotta make one over here. One, two, three. Those are my three lines. And then I'm gonna connect them up here, filling in the black, almost like a black French tip. So now I'm just filling in the top with the black. Up here, right here. So uh, this is another nail pen. See, nail pen. And I'm gonna use it to add the dots. So you get a little bit to come out, and you just tap it on, and you just go randomly all over the nail. I got all my dots, and I am finished. The camera doesn't really like to do close-ups because it gets distorted for some reason. It doesn't focus. Um, but that's what it looks like from farther away, and it matches my other one pretty good. I think so. Um, again, if you don't have the tools, I think you can use a thin brush or a bobby pen to do the dots. All right, so that's about it for the night. Um, it's after midnight already, and my day wasn't very exciting. Sorry. Uh, that's how Mondays usually are. You know, work. Laundry, late night pizza, and nail art. Uh, yeah, of course, that's my world. So, um, I did do the other thumb. Woo, thumbs up. Um, so now I have both ring fingers and both thumbs have butterfly wings on them. Too bad I'm not like a butterfly and I can fly far, far, far away. Kidding. Um, so that's the end. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.